welcome back to my channel cruel talk happy taco tuesday guess what today's video is going to be about because i'm a nerd and i like coordination i love coordination today it's taco tuesday so we're going to be dealing with tacos dealing we're going to be talking about tacos not dealing sorry i logged off of work not so long ago so my mind is still like you know going a thousand miles an hour so for today's video we're going to go ahead and be trying these plant-based ground beef crumbles from Gardein and we're gonna make some tacos. So I have all my ingredients and materials, supplies, ingredients and supplies here. I'll give you a quick little shot of them and then we're gonna go ahead and start cooking. So hopefully the fam likes these uh, plant-based tacos. I hope they do. I have a few different options also as far as uh, vegan options. Like I have some dairy-free cheddar um shredded cheddar to put on if anybody wants to try that we got some guac frijoles and i also bought a sour cream dairy-free alternative so i just hope it all comes out well together so stick around Okay, so we're gonna be making veggie tacos, as I said. Um, they can be made vegan, and I'll show you now how. Um, obviously, we have the Gardein plant-based ground beef, so that's obviously a vegan alternative to uh, actual meat. However, I do have, you know, because my family sometimes is special, and by family, I mean sometimes my daughter, who is, by the mm -hmm. way, <laughs> <laughs> by the way shooting this video for me today so thank you mm -hmm. um, but yeah sometimes you can be special so I do have the regular cheese you know for tacos and then I do have a veggie a ve vegan uh, can speak right I'm telling you uh, it's my mind is like just so far off but anyway it's been one of those days where you just kind of start going down a rabbit hole without meaning that you wanted to go down a rabbit hole I just I heard something on social media today and then from there I started researching other things and that thing led to another whatever story for another time but anyway my daughter's shaking her head at me by the way <laughs> anyway so if you wanted to make them vegan I would add these cheddar uh, crumbles not crumbles these uh, cheddar 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 <laughs> cheddar okay cheddar shreds these are from follow your heart and they are dairy free these are a vegan alternative um i think i tried them once to make a quesadilla and quite honestly i would like to if i tell you that i liked it or didn't like it because i don't remember 100 percent if i did like them of course i was just so hungry my daughter just said <laughs> all right we do not need commentary from the director <laughs> anyway moving on and then i also have an alternative to sour cream I actually found this at Publix. It's called Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> <Is that how laughs> <laughs> okay. Pause. Okay, let's get back to our video. So this is called Tofuri. <laughs> It is milk free, it does not contain any butter fat, and it actually says on here, better than sour cream. It says no gluten, non-hydrogenated oil. So this is it. Um, it is a dairy free option, so if you wanna stay away from dairy, again, as I've said, people can try to stay away from dairy or might want to stay away from dairy for many different reasons, not just because you're vegan or vegetarian, um, you know, some people are lactose intolerant and they have no choice but to stay away from dairy products. So this was actually pretty cool, I thought. Um, I actually just started Googling, you know, alternatives to sour cream, uh, vegan sour cream, dairy-free sour cream, and this popped up. And surprise, surprise, my neighborhood Publix actually had it. So that seems pretty cool. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I will try it. Um, and. As always, I'm always excited hoping that these things work out and that they taste well. But um, other than that, oh, and everything else is pretty much, aside from the sour cream and the actual dairy um, cheese, everything else is vegetarian slash vegan approved. We got avocado, tomato, 
We got some guac, some salsa, some chips that I'm gonna just take on from because I am but that so is my daughter. You gotta feed the director, right? Mm -hmm. So on that note, let's head on over to the skillet and let's get cooking. Um You have it. Okay, you know what? <laughs> no, no, yeah. because you gave okay. me that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, is it lefty or right? What? <laughs> no, I open it to the left and right. This? That, bro. Uh, the right. Angie, you just turn. Okay, but which <laughs> way? I'm so confused. Which way do you, do you turn? You guys. <laughs> no, which way? Has anyone ever been confused as to opening a jar of salsa? S please send help. Send help. <laughs> You're mean. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and throw in some of these plant-based uh, beef crumbles. I already went ahead and preheated my uh, pan and I did spray a little bit of olive oil cooking spray on there. So that's already getting warmed up. I'll show you what they look like, the plant-based uh, beef crumbles. So, I mean, they look, they smell good, they smell yummy. It kind of looks like dog food from far. Okay, well, no, don't say that to the people. It, it does not look like dog food. Please don't, no. So I am going to just pour some in this pan, and then I'm going to just mix it up a little bit, you know, like you're cooking your regular picadillo. AK ground beef. And I'm going to put just a little more. Okay, and then I am just using the seasoning from the taco kit, the taco dinner kit that I got. And I mean, you can make your own seasoning. Clearly, uh, we're not that. We're not that. Uh, what's the word? We're not that homemakerish here. Like, you know, we work. And, we got stuff to do or whatnot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and season it. In, uh, brain fart. We're gonna go ahead and season it all in here. And I am going to. Mm, delicious. It does smell good, right? Mm -hmm. You see, and she likes um, meat. Like she does eat meat. She likes picadillo, she likes steak. I'm the one that doesn't eat meat. Um, I eat veggie burgers. She does like veggie burgers. Uh, and I think you also like the veggie McChickens. Right? Yeah, but mostly the veggie burgers. Yeah, she does love the veggie burgers. Though she never has given me like a hard time over it. Um, so I hope she likes these tacos too. But you know, it is. We weird, shall right? see. Like I can't force her to like what I like. I can only show her what options she has in the world. So let's go ahead and finish seasoning all of this up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. I'm gonna add it little by little just because I don't wanna drown it and then it's like just pure sogginess because that would just be not not cool. And you normally, I believe according to the package, you cook this for about three to four minutes. Which, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just be simmering this around. You see it's already kind of getting a little bit of color. So I'm gonna just keep on uh, stirring this and I'm gonna finish adding my water and seasoning and then we will be ready to make some tacos I will show you that shortly all right so the meat meatless plant-based meat has been cooked and she's making her first taco there's been on the background as always um, we have not been able to open this jar but never fear my beer is here uh, his beer is here. Okay, no, he's gonna open the jar for us. Oh, please, could you help me open this jar? It's ever so tight. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh my hero, what the? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay, so, and she's gonna go ahead and try her taco. Again, she doesn't want to be on camera. Hopefully one day she will be, but she's still a little shy. It's not that I'm shy, I just don't want to. 
Do you want to tell them what you're putting in your taco? The plant-based beef? The plant-based beef, the taco cheese, and so a little bit of sour cream on, on the edge. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see. Moment of and truth. I'm getting my fingers dirty. Because she does like meat. She does like meat, so let's see what she thinks. Okay. Ignore Bruno there and ignore forehead of security there in that angle. <laughs> okay, right here. Well, I mean, I got to get you somehow. Why? Well, do you like it? You know that taste? No, yeah, it's good. Would you eat it again? So... I give it 8 out of 10. Okay. Uh -huh. She gives it an 8.5 out of 10, so I'd say that's a good one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my taco now. I'll show you guys how I make mine, and then I'll show you how Carlitos makes his, and we'll give you all a final verdict. Let me just show you guys the differences between the two sour creams. This is the dairy sour cream from Publix. That's the one I used. This is the one that Angie used. And this is the non-dairy one. I feel like the non-dairy one looks a little creamier, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one, the non-dairy one, on my taco, and hopefully it tastes good. All right, so these are my two tacos. I made one completely vegan, uh, which is this one. I added the uh, beans, I got some tomato, and the shredded cheddar, that's the non-dairy one from Follow Your Heart, along with the non-dairy sour cream. And then I made a second one that is a vegetarian one. It's not vegan, uh, only because of the cheese. I still used the vegan non-dairy sour cream on that one but I added uh, some actual like dairy cheese to that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and test them out and see if there's any big taste difference. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the fully vegan one first. Excuse any mess. It doesn't taste bad, but I taste a slight difference in the cheese flavor just because I, I do eat cheese so I'll try it again but okay it is tasty it tastes good but I am tasting a slight difference in that cheese so let's go ahead and try the other one with the veggie it's only a veggie one, not vegan. This one has a uh, four cheese Mexican blend from Sargento. Mm. It doesn't taste bad either. I don't know, ex like, I, I don't know how to explain it so you guys can understand the taste. The only taste that I'm noticing, like, the only taste difference between the two is the cheese flavor. I feel like maybe, the, I don't know what it is. Like honestly, not even the sour cream tastes different to me. Um, maybe this one's just nutty? Okay. I think, literally, I think no, I know. For me, personally, excuse me, the only difference in taste is the cheese, I promise you. The sour cream tastes exactly the same to me. That's Angela grabbing more chips. Mm -hmm. um, but other than the cheese, I just don't know what it is about the cheese, though. Like, mm. maybe, I want to say maybe it's like less salt less sodium and maybe that changes the taste i mean i'm sure it does obviously salt is something used for seasoning um i'm gonna have to like taste this again this uh cheddar shreds but um i just yeah i don't know um other than that i don't taste a difference the sour cream tastes exactly the same i'm gonna go ahead and check with carlos see what he thinks of his tacos um 
but yeah, it tastes pretty much, oh, that was my finger, wow, that's bad. Again, hopefully we'll get better at this one day. Um, but let me go ahead and let's see and, and if Carlos likes his tacos, hold on. Babe, are you liking your tacos? Yeah, yes. So compared to Taco Bell, because I know you do like Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. You do love Taco Bell. Do you like Marlene's tacos? Yes, I do, <laughs> as well. What can you say to meat eaters as far as the taste is concerned? It's exactly the same. Everything tastes the same to you? Yeah. Did you use the non-dairy sour cream? I used the non-dairy and the dairy one. Okay, so you taste the difference in those two or no? Um, a little bit, not that much. Okay, and what about the cheese? The cheese is good. Well, no, I didn't have any of the vegan cheese. Okay, so you have a vegetarian one? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you, what would you give these tacos at Casa Marlene? I would have them again. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got brownie points again? Yes. All right. Got brownie points again. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and finish up our dinner, and then I'm going to start cleaning up. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you've tried any other vegan uh, option to make tacos. Happy Taco Tuesday. I hope you stuff yourselves with tacos and guacamole today. Remember to like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching Cruel Talk and becoming a part of my Cruel Talk community. Bye, guys.